If you've ever heard me speak before, you know that I talk a lot about helping you to tap into your inner champion. See, I believe all of us have a champion inside of us. I believe we all have the ability to do more, to create more, and to become more. And the challenge is that we can't see that because we're stuck or we've had setbacks or people don't believe in us and they've talked us out of chasing our goals and our dreams and believing that more is possible. But the fact is that you do have a champion inside of you. There's something special about you. You're naturally curious, resourceful, creative, and whole. And so how do you tap into that inner champion? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Coming up next in this episode. You're listening to The Grind and Gratitude Show. Welcome to The Grind and Gratitude Show. If this is your first time tuning into the podcast, thank you so much. If you're an avid listener, you already know I got a lot of love for you. If this is your first time tuning in, or if you've already tuned in before, you already know how I start this, the podcast. I have to introduce myself. I am Danny Stone, also known as Coach Stone is in the building. I'm the founder of the Champion You community, and I help hero entrepreneurs make more income, impact, and influence by learning how to speak so they can attract their ideal clients in other ways as well. If you don't know about me, I, I am the founder of Champion You. I am a transformational speaker. I get to speak on stages all around the world to inspire people to, to find that inner champion. I'm a business advisor and a coach, obviously the host of this podcast, The Grind and Gratitude Show, community servant, a author of two books, and everything that I do is around helping you to really tap into that inner champion. And so before we get down this road, I want to talk to you a little bit about this. You know, we hear so much about winners and losers, right? We hear in society, we hear a lot about either you're a winner or you're a what? A loser, right? And the winners get celebrated and the losers get forgotten. So we think. And Oftentimes, I hear people talk about you got to win in life and you got to win, win, win. And I do kind of believe that to a certain extent. But when you focus only on winning and losing, you miss the learning, the development, the growth, the opportunities to be better the next time. And so when I started the Champion You community almost a year and a half ago, it was really as a result of the pandemic. I was going live on Instagram and Facebook for the last few years, and I, and I was just checking in with people. And if you've heard this before, you know, it's okay, but I, I really want to reiterate this. During the pandemic, people were feeling lost and overwhelmed and stressed out, me included, and I just wanted to talk to people. So I started going live on Facebook and Instagram every day, um, just checking in, and then eventually people started telling me, hey, can we talk about certain topics or can you teach us certain topics? So I just started going live and just doing research. People would be like, you know, how do I change my mindset? How do I get back on track after I've fallen off? How do I find hope again? How do I start a business? You know, my relationship isn't going too well. How do I strengthen my relationship? And this isn't to say that I'm an expert in all of those areas at all. I'm not. But what I would do is go and find information and then bring it back to the community and we would have a discussion or I would share tips or if it was, you know, an area that I had overcome some challenges in in the past, I would share what has worked for me. And then all of that kind of evolved into me starting my online community called Champion You. And Champion You started because so many people were feeling defeated. So many people were feeling left behind. So many people had no hope and they didn't know what was next. And I wanted them to know that they have a champion inside of them. I wanted them to know that they have the ability to push through, that they have the ability to become something bigger than they even thought. They can make a greater impact in the world. And I'm talking to you. You can do these things. 
And so as a result of all these conversations, I thought, you know what? I have to start this community. And the Champion You community was born. I started going live on the Clubhouse application, which is an app that allows you to have audio conversations and you can host conversations on there and people can ask questions and they can listen. So I started the Champion You community on Clubhouse and started going live every single Tuesday at 7 p.m. And we're still going live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. It's myself and a, a bunch of other co-moderators, people who are coaches and speakers and, and experts in different fields. And we go live for a few hours. And we usually talk about different topics that matter to you, that matter to the community, whether it's a, a business-related topic or relationships or finances or building your brand or speaking and how to get your message out to the world. We talk about so many really important topics. And it's been life-changing for a lot of people who've been in that room. We get testimonials all the time. You know, people are applying the things that we're talking about and they're going away and really changing their lives, changing their relationships, growing their businesses, building their self-confidence and uh, increasing their speaking uh, uh, confidence. There's so many things that happen as a result of the Champion You community. So then we extended the community and now we have a Facebook community. We have the Champion You Academy which again provides lots of courses and training and, and resources for business owners to help them level up their business in their lives. Now, I'm not saying all of this just to promote, like you can join the free community or buy a course, a Champion You Academy or not. I'm trying to get you to understand how to really tap into becoming a champion, to, to doing things beyond your comfort zone to achieve things that you never thought were possible and and that's what I did with the champion you community it, it just started as a result of me having conversations and evolved into a business and I never thought that I I could do more with my life you know I grew up in low-income housing I was surrounded by drugs and crime and I was headed down the wrong path and then turned my life around and ended up going to university and playing basketball, but then I dropped out of university. I'm not a university graduate. And then somehow, you know, wanted to get a good job, but I never thought I could get a good job without a university education. And then what happened was I was able to end up, I finally land a, a quote unquote good job, started working in the corporate world, managing training and, and, and development and all that kind of stuff. And then did that for a long time and decided that I wanted to start my own business, my own speaking and coaching business. And that's what I've been doing for the last eight, nine years. And then I'm saying all this to say that when you follow your curiosity and when you develop the mindset that you can do more with your life, there's a couple of things that you have to do, but then you can find that champ inside of you. And so what I want to talk to you about today is like, how do you tap into that inner champion? You might be saying, Coach Stone, it's great and all that you think that I have a champion inside of me, but nah, I'm not seeing that. <laughs> and I, I was definitely there at some point in my life. So I get what you're saying. You're, you, I don't want to just talk at you. One thing about me is I like to give people tools and resources that they can implement right away to get some type of results. If you've been following me, that's what you, you should know that about me, whether it's my book, you know, you have the keys now drive in that book. It's I give you five keys and, and five habits to change your life. And they're real practical things that you can do. Um, and so people have been reading this book for the last since 2014 and taking action. And it's a workbook. So you can actually, you know, at the end of every chapter, there's things that you can try there's um, worksheets you can download. So that's how I de designed the book. If you come, come in the Champion You community, we're giving you live coaching and tips and resources that you can apply right away. If I'm speaking on the stage, I'm doing the same thing. So I'm somebody who likes to give people practical 
tips and tools and resources and things that you can think about to help you shift your life and your business in a powerful way. So in this episode, I want to talk to you about my five-step champ method. If you want to tap into that inner champion, there's five steps. I like to keep it very simple. The five-step champ method that's really going to help you to turn your life around, to break through whatever you're going through, to achieve those goals and dreams that you never thought were possible. So I want to jump into these really quickly. I'm not going to get into de- in depth with them right now. Later on, I'm going to be doing some, some coaching and some training, and you, you can definitely sign up for that. But for now, I want to give you the champ framework to get you started about how you can tap into that inner champion. Does that sound good to you? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So the CHAMP method is C-H-A-M-P. And all of those letters stand for something. So the C stands for clarity. Now, if you follow anybody who's highly successful, if you look at somebody who you consider to be a champion, whether they're athletes, whether they're business people, Whatever it is they do, if they are the best at what they do, whether it's business, whatever it is, if they're the best at what they do, they've had to do these five things to tap into that inner champion to become successful beyond even what they imagined. And so I'm going to break down the champ method. The first letter is C and C stands for clarity. In order to become a champion, in order to achieve things that you never thought were possible, in order to make a greater impact in the world, it requires you to be clear about where you are right now, what's holding you back, and where you want to go. I call it a reality check. So you need clarity. And in that clarity, you have to give yourself a reality check. The reality is, where are you right now in your life or your business or the areas that are most important to you? You got to give yourself a reality check. And sometimes we we don't ask ourselves the difficult questions because we're afraid of the answers. Like, have you ever been in a relationship with somebody when you knew that you, you just didn't love them that way, that they weren't your person. And you were afraid to ask yourself, why do I continue to stay with this person when I know they're not for me? Like you needed clarity in that moment. Why, did I, why am I staying at this job when I know that it's not serving me? It's not giving me energy. It's not, I, I, I'm the opposite. I don't want to come into this job. I have anxiety. I'm stressed out over this job when I know I could be doing more. But then you stayed longer than you expected. I'm raising my hand on both of those. I've stayed in relationships longer than I should have. I've stayed at jobs longer than I should have. And and there's so many things that I should have asked myself questions about that I was afraid to ask myself questions about because that would have indicated that I had to take action. And maybe that's the same for you. Maybe you're in a place right now in your career or in your business or in a relationship or with your personal growth and development or with your health and wellness or with your spirituality or financially, you're in a place and you know you don't want to be in that place. You know this isn't the place that you want to be, but you don't want to ask yourself those difficult questions because you're afraid of the answers. Champions get clear about what it is that they want where they are, and why they are here, what's holding them back. That's the first step to anything. Clarity. You want to tap into that inner champion, you got to sit down and you got to write these things out. This is where I am in terms of all the areas that matter to me, health, wealth, relationships, finances, my hopes, my dreams. This is where I want to go. Now, what's holding me back? You need to be clear. That's how you start to tap into your inner champion and create the life that you deserve. Clarity is the first step. Now, once you get clear about what it is that you want, what's holding you back and where you are, the next letter is H, right? We're talking about the champ method here, the H. 
And so you're saying, well, what is the H? The H is all about habits. You need to develop powerful habits that are going to serve you well. And the real key to, to having more success and happiness and fulfillment is your, in your life is about your habits. What do you do automatically on autopilot? What are those habits that are going to serve you that you can just that you do subconsciously? You don't even think about them, whether it's exercising or eating healthy or or learning or, you know, having meaningful conversations, researching, growing your business. What are those positive habits that are going to serve you well? A morning ritual, a bedtime routine. What are those positive habits? And for many of us, we do have some positive habits, but a lot of us have bad habits. And one of the biggest habits that I found that really changed my life, that, that shifted everything, was my morning ritual. Not a morning routine, a morning ritual. A morning routine is the things that you have to get up and, and do to start your day. Your ritual are the, the habits and the mindset and the beliefs and the things that you do intentionally because you want to because you know that they're that's going to create more peace calm clarity and focus in your life so my question is do you have a morning ritual if you don't that might be the first habit you want to develop you want to wake up on your own terms learn to wake up on your own terms Instead of hitting snooze 10 times and dragging yourself out of bed and saying, oh, I really don't want to start my day and I don't want to go to this job and I don't want to do this, change your mindset. Because what you're putting out there into the world comes back to you. It becomes your reality. If you're putting out a lot of negativity or if you're starting your day on other people's terms and you're not taking care of your own mindset and spirituality, it's going to be very difficult for you to change your situation. It's going to be very difficult for you to achieve things that you never thought you could achieve. And you're programming your mind to be negative. You're programming your mind to look for negative things. And, you know, what's interesting about that is, I think last week I posted something on Instagram. Uh, if, you have, if you're not following me, follow me on Instagram and TikTok or, or any social media. I am Danny Stone. That's my name on all platforms. So I posted something on, on Instagram and I said, you know, something about I'm, I was having a bad day. So yeah, I'm having a bad day. And then I immediately changed my mindset and I stopped that. And I went back and I said, you know what? I'm not having a bad day. I'm having some bad moments with, throughout the day. And once you learn to reprogram your mind around those types of things, especially when it comes to negativity and change that, then what happened was my mind started telling me, you know what, Danny? Yeah, it's not a bad day. You had a couple of bad things that happened, but you woke up today. You had something to eat. You put clothes on your back. You have a roof over your head. You have amazing people that love you. You have an amazing champion you community. And so I had to, I, in that moment, I changed my mindset and I get into this. I'm trying to develop this habit. When I start with these negative thoughts, I shut them down right away and I move into gratitude. But a lot of that starts with the way that I wake up in my morning ritual because I'm programming my mind for success. I'm programming my mind to help me become a champion, to do things that I never thought I could do. And so that's what the H in the CHAMP method stands for. It stands for developing powerful habits. This is an opportunity for you to look at your habits and ask yourself with the habits that you have, ask yourself this, are they serving me well? Are these habits, is this habit serving me well? Is it leading to greater health? Um, is it increasing my mindset? Is it helping me financially? Is it helping me to become a, a heightened version, a better version of myself? Is it helping my business to grow? Is it helping my career to grow? Ask yourself that about your habits. And that'll give you a good indication of if that habit is not serving you well and it's a bad habit or if it is. 
So that's what champions do. And you have a champion inside of you. If you want to bring it out, tap in and create powerful, positive habits. Now, the A, right? The A in the champ method stands for action. What are the daily actions that you are taking that are going to help you to get where you want to go? For instance, if you have to make more money or you want to make more money or you want to get out of debt or you have a certain number in mind that you want to make every month, what are you doing every single day to get you closer to that goal or that dream? It's all about daily actions. What tasks, what actions are you doing every day? Are you doing the most important things that you need to do towards that goal or that dream? Even if it's just one thing a day, right? Just do that one thing until you can do two and then three. But we have to start somewhere. What are the actions that you're taking? And champions, whether it's, you know, some of the greatest athletes like, you know, Michael Jordan or Tiger Woods or Serena Williams or Wayne Gretzky, whether they're an athlete or, you know, people who change the world with their products and their in- in- innovation like Steve Jobs or Richard Branch and Branson or Elon Musk. To get to that level, to get to that champion level, they had to take action every single day even if other people didn't believe in them, even if they didn't believe in themselves, they would just take action because with action comes belief. I always say progress equals belief. The more action you take, the more progress you make and the more that you actually start to believe that you can change your situation or that you can achieve that goal or that dream. So what are the actions that you're taking towards the things that you say that you want? Champions take action every day. You have a champion inside of you. You want to tap into that inner champion. These are the five steps that you can take. So we talked about clarity. We talked about habits. We talked about daily actions. Now we're going to talk about the M. The M in the champ method stands for mentors. We need mentors. If you're trying to achieve something in your life, you need to attach yourself to people who've done it before. Because that is the least path, that's the path to least resistance, right? The reason why we don't get things done is because we don't know how, we're not clear about what we want, we're not focused, but it often comes down to we just don't know how. Here's the thing, you have access to so many mentors and coaches Find somebody who's done what you've already want, what you want to do. Buy their books, watch their videos, go to their seminars, buy their coaching, buy their courses and their programs. Do what you can do to draw from them so that you can learn and apply to your life or your business. It's it's not about how, it's about who. There's a book called Who Not How. It's not about how you can do it or how you can't. It's about who's already done it that you can learn from. And I think for so many of us, we think that we have to start from the beginning. We don't have to start from the beginning. Go out there and find a mentor or a coach or a teacher that has already achieved what it is that you want to achieve. Use their process, read their books, use their steps, and then you can do it. We have to stop taking the long way and stop making excuses because we have so much information at our fingertips. We have the internet, we have YouTube, we have books, we have courses, programs, coaching. We have all of these things available to us. So why aren't we tapping into those things instead of trying to figure things out on our own? Champions don't try to figure things out on their own. They have mentors, they have coaches. They're constantly learning and growing and they're taking what they learn and they grow and what they learn and they're applying it. If you want to be a champion, if you want to do things that you never thought you could do, if you want to tap into your full potential to create a better lifestyle for yourself and your family, this champ method is going to help you. And a part of that is finding mentors, coaches and teachers that can show you the way. 
And then the last letter in the champ method is the P, right? The P is all about perseverance. Champions don't quit. Even when they lose, they don't quit. And this is the biggest reason what I what I talked about. When we talk about winners and losers, that's just a part of the equation because when you look at champions, many of the champions have lost at some point in time. Some of the greatest athletes in the world have lost. Serena's lost game, tennis matches. Michael Jordan has lost games. You know, um, Tiger Woods has lost. Steve Jobs had a lot of setbacks. Elon Musk has had setbacks and failures. But what do all of those people have in common? Perseverance. They never quit. They learn from the failures. They learn from the mistakes. They learn from the setbacks. They took those lessons and reapplied it and came back better to achieve things that nobody thought was possible. And you can do the same. They're no more special than you are. It's just the dedication to their craft, the dedication to what was important to them. And they just kept going. Setback after setback, failure after failure, other people hating on them and not believing in them, but they just kept going. You just need to keep going. Keep going on that goal and that dream. Don't quit. Keep going. Find a way. Get help. Find mentors. Take action every day. And what's going to happen is you'll start to see progress in that area. And then you want to keep going until you get to this level where you master that thing that you really want to do, right? Where you master your health or your wellness, you master your business, you master what it is you do in your career, you get really great at relationship building. Whatever it is that you want, you keep going until you get to this level where it almost becomes natural. And then at that point, you know that you will have achieved your goal and your dream. Look, I'm not saying any of this is easy. I'm, I'm not, I boiled this down to five things, but it's not easy. If it was, we would all be living the lifestyle that we deserve. We wouldn't be focused on the, the setbacks. We wouldn't be focused on the things that aren't going right. We'd all be living the life that we want, but we're not. Many of us aren't. And so how do you tap into this inner champion so you can do that? You need to get clear, clarity. You need powerful habits. You need to take daily action. You need to tap in and lock in on mentors and coaches. And then you got to persevere. You got to keep going until you win. That's my five-step champ method. That's how you start to find that champion inside of you. That's how you start to create the life, the business, the mission of your dreams. It all starts with those five steps. And if you take some time to actually do these things and think about some of the things that I talked about here today and, and applying some of these things, you're going to notice a change in your life. I've been a coach for a long time. And one of the requirements for anybody working with me is they have to apply these, these five things or we just can't work together. And once they apply these things, you know, all my coaching clients, once they apply the champ method, champ method, They've all noticed a significant increase in the quality of their life, in their thinking, in so many areas of their life. And so I've never really shared this outside of any of my coaching clients, but I want to share it with you because I want you, I want you to, to realize your potential. I want you to understand that this isn't as good or as bad as life gets. It can be better. Your dreams are possible. I'm not just saying these as words. I truly believe it. This is somebody who grew up in low income housing, who used to get bullied and picked on by drug dealers, who was headed down the wrong path, who got arrested three times before the age of 18. I lost friends to to gun violence in jail. And at one point I thought I was going down one of those two paths. So I'm talking as someone who never had hopes and dreams to a person who now speaks on stages all over the world, who has two books out in the world, who has a podcast that's reached, you know, 55 countries, 
that has a business that I love and a community <clears throat> that I get to serve. So what do you want in your life? What are you trying to create? Who are you trying to become? How do you want to serve the world with your gifts and your talents? Whatever it is, start thinking about the potential of maybe you have a champion inside of you. Just maybe. Apply the five-step champ method and see how your life changes. That's it for this episode. I hope it was valuable. Um, this is the first time I publicly shared the champ method and I just believe in you. I really believe that you're capable of much, so much more. And I know that if you keep going, you apply some of the things that you're learning, you get clarity, habits, action, mentors, and perseverance. You'll create a life that you don't even imagine in a really powerful, positive way. Thanks so much for riding with me as always. I appreciate you being my co-host. That's it for this episode. I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.